ladies, I offer you, and gentlemen, I offer you the Tay Bridge disaster. It was, at one point in his career, McGonagall was paid 15 shillings a night by a circus on the basis they could throw food at him. So if you feel like that, and apologies to any, apologies to any genuine Scot for the appalling accents that I intend to use to embellish it with. Beautiful railway bridge of the Silvery Tay, alas, I am very sorry to say that 90 lives have been taken away on the last seventh day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. <laughs> it was about seven o'clock at night, and the wind had blew with all its might, and the rain came pouring down, and the dark clouds seemed to frown, and the demon of the air seemed to say... I'll blow down the bridge of tea. <laughs> <laughs> when the train left Edinburgh and the passengers' hearts were light and felt no sorrow, but Porteous blew a terrific gale, which made their hearts fall too. Quail, and many of the passengers with fear did say, I hope God will send a sieve across the bridge of tea. <laughs> <laughs> then when the train Not came near to warm it be, Boreas he did loud and angry bray. And shook the central girders of the Bridge of Tay on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> so the train spun on with all its might and bodied and dees and hove in sight, and the passengers' hearts felt light, thinking they would enjoy themselves on the new year with their friends at home they loved most dear, and wish them all a happy new year. Well, so the train moved slowly along the bridge of tea until it was about midway in the central garden, where the crash gave way, and down went the train passengers into the tea. The storm fiend did loudly bray because ninety lives had been taken away in the last seventh day of 1879. Which will be remembered. <laughs> The catastrophe came to be known, the alarm from month to month was blown and the clay rang out all over the town. Good heavens, the tea bridge is blown down. <laughs> <laughs> and the passenger train from Edinburgh, which filled all the people's hearts with sorrow and made them for to turn pale. Because none of the passengers were saved to tell the tale how the disaster happened in the last seventh day of 1879. Which was <laughs> It must have been an awful sight to witness in the dusky moonlight while the storm fiend did laugh and angry did bray along the rivery bridge of the Silvery Tay. Oh, ill fated bridge of the Silvery Tay. I must now conclude my lay by telling the world, fearless lay, without the least dismay, that your central girders would not have given way, at least many sensible men do say, had they been supported on each side with buttresses. <laughs> <laughs> at least many sensible men confesses, for the stronger we our houses do build, the less chance we have of being killed. I <laughs>